Hi, welcome to part two of the saga of the slipping roll off speed hub. So, just recap my speed hub is about three and a half years old. It's got 11,000 miles on it, which is about sort of 17,000 kilometers. Uh, it's been used basically every day on my commuting bike. Uh, it's been serviced every year, exactly as Roloff said. Uh, um, flush and uh, at, at the old oil replace new oil that's been done every uh, 3,000 miles once a year for me and up until recently I haven't had any problems at all with it and then it's all of a sudden it, it just started slipping and it was slipping in every single gear so the, the last video I did I thought I'd fixed it I replaced the Paul Springs the gear cables and I also made sure the tension on the axle nuts were, was correct and that seemed to fix it and it behaved okay for three days and then all, halfway into work it then started slipping again. So what I've done, I've done a complete strip down of the speed hub to actually find out what's going on. Stripping it down is not particularly difficult at all what the internals of the, the roll-off look like. I, I've got it apart. Um, I did actually rip the, the, the gasket uh, taking that off. It's actually quite easy to take apart. And then we come down to the final piece. When you strip it down, lay out everything in order and the right, right orientation that it came out so you can put it back together again so in this case well i'll start here and then i put it back together in that order and then everything will go back together in the correct manner there's only one special tool you need in order to get it apart and that's a magnet so in here there's a collar and a little pin uh, and this tiny little pin, the, the only way to get it out is you need a magnet to, to just draw that out and then everything, it just pulls apart gently, uh, nice and easy. What I will say, this has got uh, the newer splined carrier on it for the sprocket, the sprocket slides over there is held in place with a, a split pin. So you don't need to, to take that off in order to um, get the gearbox apart. You just need to take the sprocket off the spline carrier. So that's much easier than the old system where you got where getting the sprocket off on the thread could be um, interesting, shall we say. So the first problem I found, uh, and this really set alarm bells ringing, as soon as I split the hub, um, the oil, you just feel it between your fingers, it felt gritty. There was no sign of emulsification in there at all, so there was no water had got in there, so it remained sealed. But you feel it had a gritty feel to it, and that's generally exceedingly bad news because it's metal particles which cause that. If we look here. I've got shards of metal in there. There's one there, and we have more shards of metal there. So something has gone seriously wrong with this gearbox, and it explains why it's slipping. We should not have lumps of metal in there, and I, unfortunately, I think. This gearbox has completely and utterly had it. So what I think is the cause of the failure of the gearbox, we can see on this um, carrier, we can see the mark, that's where a spacer ring goes. And we have here, here, and here, um, pressed in pins and they hold the planets in place, uh, so they're like a bearing for the, the planets. And if we zoom in very uptight on here, 
we can see a shard of metal caught that's actually wedged in quite tight that's caught on this um, bearing where it's pressed into the carrier and what I think has happened is there's a manufacturing defect and there's a burr here where this pin is pressed in to the carrier and it's caught on the spacer and then eventually it, it, it caught enough after 11,000 miles it, it is caught enough and it's actually behaved like a mini lathe and cut off strips off the spacer which have then redistributed themselves around the internals of the gearbox so I, I'm totally believe it's a manufacturing fault and there's a burr in here which is then caught on the, the, the spacer and ripped the spacer apart. On the Roloff website there's an exploded diagram that lists in all the parts in the speed up and how they go together. Unfortunately Roloff will not sell you those parts. Apparently what I've done I'm not, al I'm not allowed to do. Uh, the, only Roloff themselves can uh, strip these gearboxes down. I'm, apparently I'm incompetent. So, um, so my only option officially is to put this back together again and send it back to Roloff in Germany and then pay them a lot of money for a whole new set of uh, internals which is going to be several hundreds and hundreds of pounds. But what I intend to do, since I can't actually see any damage or, or on the actual gear teeth themselves. I've got uh, the undamaged spacer rings so I can use those as a template and I'm just going to go to a local machine shop and get a new spacer ring made up and put it back in and then put the gearbox back together and just hope that it works. Well it's almost certain it will work it's just the, the question is how long will it, it, it last. So I'm not at all happy with, with Roloff at all, with the, the reliability of this um, speed up that I've had. It's, on, it's only lasted 11,000 miles and uh, it's now, it's a pretty good chance that it's trashed. It's three and a half years old so it's well out of warranty. Um, okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it, it useful and to some extent it does dispel the myth of the invincibility of roll-off speed-up gears.